So, I found some connective glue and was able to grow glue pieces of gra graphite plate to uh, aluminum foil. And I took those and stacked them up in series. So I have uh, carbon, aluminum, an instant series connection to carbon, aluminum, carbon, aluminum, etc. with a water gap in between. And I get 2.57 volts across it, which should be enough to light up this red LED. If I attach the red LED, it goes down to 1.3 volts and does not produce any light. Not even a minor flicker. Oh, there was a flicker. I think that's just the red reflecting in the camera. Oh, uh, flickers a little bit there. It's actually getting kind of better as it sits. Um, when I use just distilled water, uh, distilled water looks like that. Um, I got 20 volts and at. I was able to light up three white LEDs without a problem. Adding uh, baked calcium bicarbonate, which should be calcium carbonate at this point, um, this is the behavior. Um, I guess I'm getting a little flickering now. Me, uh, so I happen to have a 100 ohm resistor in line with this. Um, so it limit the current a little bit. Still doesn't really help. It won't run continuously. So, I don't, don't know. I considered maybe if I leave this shorted, that maybe it would improve over time. So, it's been shorted a few seconds now. And that's the voltage going up. And it's going to take a very long time for that to go back up to 2 volts. I disconnected it for a second to let it charge. But the meter doesn't really seem to be slowing the charge rate very much. It's so much more effective with just water. Um, the calcium carbonate seems to inhibit the reaction, but that just is going to make the uh, reaction galvanic reaction slower. It's not really going to make it a more effective battery. It's really just a carbon aluminum air battery because the uh, water will decompose into oxygen bind with the uh, aluminum I get aluminum oxide and then the hydrogen will be liberated off uh, 
right? So short shorts is for a couple seconds. And it springs back pretty fast if I don't have it shorted for a very long time. But it only goes back up to 184. I had left it sitting for 5 or 10 minutes and got up to 2.4 volts. So, after a couple days uh, of these sitting in the bowls that were on the counter, were on the counter there, you um, can see that on one edge of these, depending on how they were, these were in the newer bowls. The, the newer bowls had a much higher concentration of um, calcium carbonate. Um, in the bottom of this, you can still see that there's there's some that doesn't dissolve. So when I was testing my newest battery with very concentrated calcium carbonate, it didn't work. Uh, I ended up flushing that out and just adding um, distilled water. No electrolyte, just water. And uh, I'm going to leave that run until it runs out. But these are definitely oxidized, except the last ones, um, because the calcium carbonate re reduces the reaction, but it reduces it to the point that the battery is unusable. So, in the carbon patent, the mention of calcium carbonate and another metal doesn't mean another metal, or um, he just no, didn't wait long enough for the oxidation. So after a couple hours, my uh, battery here ended up stopping working. So I sprinkled some table salt in it, and now it's pretty bright again. This is still really dim. You know, kind of gets tricked by these white LEDs.